Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to another part of Spyro Enter the Dragonflight. This is part two. And I've started in this level, I've started, I've skipped the Zoe cutscene, it's pretty pointless. They just say that basically there's been all these dragons, they've been trapped, they're trapped in ice. It's not crystal, it's not like Spyro 1, but I see it as a reference. Anyway, here we are, in Enter the Dragonflight in a proper playable level uh, that is, you know, you know, platforming and it's an, you know, it's an actual level, you know. It's not like, um, like the like the home world, you know, it's its own thing. Um, there's a lot to say about this level actually, and it will be split into three parts. Um, three parts specifically, geez, specifically because I have to come back later on um, once I get the ice breath, which we're going to see. Um, but I think, you know, we're, we're into the first part of the game, or well, second part of the game, the little second part, yeah, and I think it is worthy to start talking about what, you know, deserves credit and what I think is good. And I think as a whole, this level is actually good, um, dare I say, you know, can you believe it guys, I, I am, you know, I'm applauding this game, well, I've always been one of its biggest uh, defenders, uh, there's Steffi, Stephanie, I believe it's short for, I've always loved this level and I can very much appreciate it. Um, I mean, uh, maybe not love, but you know, I, I like the look of it. You know, like uh, the big, the biggest issue is the really crappy sky. That that's worse than Spyro One to Three. I mean, that's just terrible. It's a terrible sky. But this stuff, this kind of graphics, is fantastic. This represents, um, this represents what a you know a Spyro game should look like in the modern generation, or at this, well, at the time, 2002, what the modern generation is. Now, these textures aren't the best. But look, if you look at this, look, this looks like Spyro. You know what I mean? I, I, I see the, I see this is looking a lot more Spyro than, say, for example, Spyro, you know, A Hero's Tale look like, or The Legend of Spyro, that kind of thing. But, so the premise of this level, as with speed, is just ridiculous. That is just so slow. Like, th this is the game here. This is running at, like, 40 FPS. Um, now, it's, um, when it says 60, really, it basically, it's not like, it's, it's supposed to be 60 FPS, but, it, you know, their, th it, their version of 30 FPS is incredibly slow, do you know what I mean? Like, it feels like it's running at half. Um, in, l in later parts, I will talk about exactly why I think the game is so slow. I have a revelation for you, but it's going to be way later, because the big shocker of this part already is that, unfortunately, the original part of this is lost, and I am coming back to this at after I did Luau Island, so yeah, this is bad. Um, I lost the file, it corrupted, believe it or not. So this is actually, I'm coming back, so I have to, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, so I have to make sure I get the exact same amount of gems I got last time, but we'll see. Anyway, let's finally free this guy here, the dragon. Ah, Spyro, thank goodness you had the sense to free me from that icy cage. Who would have thought the Riptox would dare invade the sacred Dragonfly Dojo? Spyro, do what you can to return the dojo to its peaceful state by freeing all of the Dragon Masters. Remem Remember, yep, to be the Dragon is, yeah, that guy's name's Bruce, and that's obviously a reference to Bruce Lee. Uh, but this whole level, all the level names, um, uh, all the, I'm oh, sorry, all the Dragon names and stuff like that are like a reference to, like, kind of karate culture, you know, uh, like, you know, like that kind of thing, like karate movies, you got Bruce Lee, you got Mr. Miyagi, was like the guy that, at the entrance portal, um, you know, I mean, that, I think that's really cool, so with this level, it's pretty detailed, you know, I, I like, there's actually a, um, a speedway in this level, uh, like within the level, but I'll be doing that as a separate part, because I feel like, yeah, you know, it deserves its own part, like, I know a lot of people want to put it as part of the level, but really, I don't view it as that. They do give it a name. They say, this is Banzai Speedway, you know what I mean? Why would I say, well, it's, it's not. It's actually Dragonfly Dojo, you know. Each time a fairy zaps you. Yeah, why didn't Zoe, you talk to me? Like, you tell me that, okay? You tell me, Zoe. You tell me. See, here we are. So much fog. Jesus, no wonder it's so slow. It's, it's like fog everywhere. I, li I like the, I like the, uh, intent, but Jesus. I think they need to calm it down a bit. Anyway, another dragon. And the dragons look great, by the way. Spyro san, I'm sorry the dojo is in such a state for your visit. It's usually a haven of tranquility. It is here that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions. Protecting young dragonflies is a dragon sensei's highest calling, you know. And Spyro, your efforts will result in much reward. 
Thank you, Jackie. Jackie Chan, that is. Ho, 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 ho. Ho. Ho, yo. Okay. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny because basically that just implies that the, the, the mere dragonflies are nothing but a, uh, a device for the dragons. You know what I mean? They're worthless. They're their whole life. They're just, compan they're just a companion. You know, they're the Karen Gillan of, uh, of the Sparrow universe. You know, like following Doctor Who around. Yeah, anyway, I really, I'm ashamed to have actually understood and made that reference because I only ever really started watching Doctor Who recently. Um, I know you'd be happy about that, Angus. I know he, or he knows about it. But anyway, so with this level, um, yeah, it's just, oh, it's, it's so slow. Look at, he, here's a here's a way to test how slow it is. You do this jump. Now, what would be in Spyro, you know, in Spyro two and three, so quick. You know what I mean? Like, it would be, like, amazing. You know what I mean? In this, it's just, it's ridiculously slow. Um, hey, it's shellac! It's shellac. I'll give you a shellacking, that's all. Now, yeah, ignore the, um, the count of dragonflies, just in case I've missed one in the other level. Because, remember, yeah, I'm not actually, um, I'm not, yeah, I, I haven't, like, gone ahead and done that. This is just, like, a separate thing. I think, I think there might only be, like, two of them anyway, so it's all good. I think, I think I'm all good. I think I'm all good. In case I'm not. Alright, so over here we've got this little guy, like a little dragon with a kite. You know, that's the thing. They got Spyro's model fine. They got Hunter for the most part pretty good. Um, obviously his charging doesn't look as good as in the other games. I don't know. That's just one thing I noticed. I don't really like his charging as much. But his walk, that's fine if it wasn't so goddamn slow. Um, the dragonflies look good and so do the dragons. Both the small and the big ones. I'll probably talk to them in a minute. Anyway, this is Electric Breath. Now, there's actually an ability that people have forgotten about, and it's actually called the Wing Shield, and we get that in Luau Island at the very start of the level. Um, I, yeah, this, I think that's, yeah, I think we, yeah, that's, we, we do, we do. Um, do we get it? We do, as they would say. She got the booty. Okay, um, I don't really get that reference. I just heard it somewhere. Probably shouldn't repeat it. Um, here you go. Here the, here's the little dragon. Here's a little twerp. I wonder if he's got the same name as the guy from Spyro 3. Let's have a look. Oh, no. Could you get my kite out of the tree for me, Spyro? I can't reach it because there's nothing here to stand on. Just me. Well, that is the that is the that's the the, the hint for you. There's nothing to stand on, just me. Now, imagine if you could stand on him. Now, of course, you know you can't actually stand on him. Um, he's too small. In fact, it doesn't really make sense, but yeah, what you do is you come back with this particular ability and uh, your problems will be alleviated. Uh, hopefully that's a hint enough for you to actually let you know what, what it could be. Um, anyway, you know what I do like though, I, you know, I talk about overuse of particles and stuff, um, I do particularly love the whole like the falling leaves, it's fantastic. They did that in Spyro 2, remember Autumn Plains is a great example of them doing that. And yeah, in this case they've done a really good job with it, I think, I think it looks really nice. It looks beautiful, as I'd say. So this level is, I kind of see it as being like a, well yeah, the Spyro 1 reference with the whole like crystallization thing with the ice. And then I see, I see, you know, Dragon, I, I, you know, I can't help but see Bamboo Terrace. You know, whether that makes me like, I know, stereotyping bastard or something. Um, that's an even bigger question. But, yeah, you know, I, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm losing track of what's going on. Um, let's go down here, get this deviant guy down here, here he is, see these, these enemies are cool, like the enemy design look great, you know, they, they do remind me of Spyro enemies, anyway, this particular section here is the best, firstly, it's a visual spectacle, uh, you can't have, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta appreciate how well this level looks, like how good this level looks, I really think it looks great, I think, I think it is a great first level for Spyro, you know, it has that kind of vibe that, you know, it gives off that actually, you know, um, yeah, I know I missed that gem. It kind of gives it, yeah, I, I don't know, it just gives off like a really positive kind of vibe, like that really does feel like, you know, like a first level, but not in an old, not in a really tutorial-y way. Yeah, I mean, I guess they got a lot of that out of the way, um, you know, in the first, in the, in the first, uh, in the first part, of course, in the first level, they kind of tell you, you better. You are a dragon wise beyond your years. May the dragon spirits guide you on your way. Jet Li, I believe that's meant to be. I believe that's meant to be Jet Li. Now, here we go. Here comes the best bit. Ah, 
Spyro. In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. No. It's quite a long way down, Spyro. I just wonder how long an elder dragon can sit in a frozen solid ice block. The suspense is terrible. I hope it will last. Here we go. Let's say yes now. We give them our gems physically. That's nice. Thanks, Spyro. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. But look, Spyro, even I know some magic when properly motivated. This is when Moneybags jumps the, jumps the shark. Look at him. He, he's doing the Shalom dance. Shalom, my friend. Shalom. Okay. Um, so, you know what I like about that? The fact that Moneybags hasn't skipped a beat. If you ask me, he's still, he's, money bags is still money bags, uh, right down to the saying no, and he'll like, you know, be all like, you know, you're making a huge mistake, you, you know, you, you, what about this, what about this guy, he's gonna die if, without you, you know, that type of thing, he, you know, and, and here's the unfortunate thing, right, um, there is additional dialogue thanks to a comment I got from, I think it was the Nathan something, uh, I think it was you, who like linked to, uh, the Spyro like the hidden dialogue in this game and um, you, you see this kind of thing that I guess implies like near towards the end of the game I think it's, yeah, it's probably towards the end of the game you get to see uh, Spyro um, what's the word you know you get to see you know Moneybags talk to him about something like gems getting him into trouble or something like that but what it you know so obviously we're meant to see him again uh, you know, probably a couple of times, maybe three or four times, maybe five times, depending on how long this game was initially going to be. Um, here you go, let's talk to this guy. I've been trying to climb this bonsai tree all day. There's something shiny up there, and I just know it's the kite I lost last summer. It probably is. Okay. Yep. It sure is hot out of here. You, see, you hear that reference? It sure is hot out here now. What would we need? Wouldn't, wouldn't we want something to see? What's the opposite of hot? Cold. There we go. That's Dawn of the Dragon. There we go. That's the reference. No. Um, anyway, yeah, so with so with Moneybags, that, his only appearance is right there. That's it. That's, that's his, his only appearance in the entire game. Um, now, you know, this isn't actually the way, the way they want you to do it, but, yeah. No. Is it going to... There you go. How did it do that? I didn't do it. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, Jack's yelling at the football just to, in case anyone can hear that in the background, he's, he's uh, Geelong versus Hawthorne uh, final, like a final series match over what, yeah, anyway. Um, so, yeah, you know, I just wish that they would use him more. I think he would do really well in a level like, I don't know, Thieves' Den. Wouldn't it be hilarious if it was in Thieves' Den? Or uh, maybe Monkey Monastery, you know, like, any any excuse to make you actually... Basically, the gems in this game are utterly useless. I mean, they have, they have no use. You're collecting them because you're collecting them. There's no, like, greater meaning to it, if you know what I mean. There's, you're not having to worry about the threat of... of um, of of, mon of money bags taking it, you know what I mean, and that that's half the fun. You got to make sure you actually have enough to pay him. Good work, Spyro-san. Those rip talks don't seem to be much of a challenge for you. Contemplate a career as a dragon sensei could be your destiny. I mean your your density. I mean your destiny. Now I open the gate that appears is my density. I mean destiny. Yeah, sorry, I should have I should have kept that one going, but forgot about it. Anyway, the door opens in the background there, see, it's hard to see, you gotta be paying attention. Um, and there's only one left now, so that's cool. So yeah, you know, money bags, huge wasted opportunity in this game, I know, you know, obviously they intended to use him more, but they didn't, and they ran out of time and all that shit. Now, I didn't really talk about the first cutscene too much as well, I don't think I did. So you know, like, the, yeah, the original plot was... Spyro, you know, having to face against Nasty Nork and Ripto. Now that would be a logical progression, because remember at the end of Spyro 3 in the epilogue, we got that thing, you know, they discussed the Spyro problem. Maybe, you know, they just, they, obviously they team up, 
you know, I guess it's kind of not really meant to be like taken super seriously, but I guess you can take it seriously. And I guess when they originally came up with the pl plot to this game, obviously it was serious. Hey, it's Cinder. It's Cinder, everyone. It's freaking Cinder. How hilarious is that? Um, but not spelled with a Y, and that was the other one. I think it was, yeah, Cinder with a Y. Now, it's one of these things that I, I know I missed. Uh, anyway, here's a challenge portal run. You know what I do like about it? It does indicate what type of challenge it is based on the thing out here. So it's all going to go back to its weird order where, like, I'm, I don't actually know. This is like going back in time because I don't actually know, um, you know, what... Yeah, I, I haven't, I've recorded them already. You know what I mean? So it's gonna, I'm going to go back to, like, being clueless. It's like, yeah, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Anyway, we're nearing the end of the level now. Oh, shit. Someone did point out in the comments, like, oh, you know, how annoying it is because you think, you think you've got the butt, like, you think you're, you're about to, you know, flame or, or attack an enemy, but then you realize you're still on the bubble breath, you know? Hey, it's cloudy. Hey, it's cloudy. You know, I, I really like the idea that, um, what's his name? Uh... Spyro like actually talks a lot more in this game as well. I, I think it's a really cool idea. Um, anyway, let's get this. Wait, 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 wait. Did I get this in the original part? Hmm. Um. I f shit, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take the risk and say I didn't. All right. No, I reckon I didn't. So I'm going to take the risk and just not do that, alright? And then, uh, yeah. So, I don't know if it could be missing gems. I'm really sorry about this, guys, having to have to go back and all that shit in the first bloody part. What a disaster. Anyway, here's four clusters of things. Now, this would never happen in Spyro and any other game. That's like four or five things, you know what I mean? Like, that's ridiculous. Here we go. We've got one, two, three, four. Yeah. It's a bit awkward because they're like stuck together as well. It's like they really wanted to put a heap of gems in this game, but you know, there's only 7,000 gems in the game, so it's kind of weird. Um, but you know, I like the length of this level. I think it's a perfectly long enough level for the game, and then we got the you know the, the Banzai Speedway and all that. So it does take a while to beat, you know. Um, yeah, so there we go. Hit you, hit you. Beautiful visual though, really nice. Uh, yeah, up yours. There you go. And shut the fuck up, idiot! Jesus Christ, Jack! He's going. He's just going stupid. I mean, I, I go stupid with it with the football, but it's like, it's bloody like it's Hawthorne and Geelong. Like we don't care about them. They both they both shit. I mean, like I don't like both of them. If it was Collingwood, you can do it, but don't do it for two insignificant teams. Anyway, here's the last guy. He's very nice. You have done well, little dragon. Freeing the dragon senses took much courage. I think this baby dragonfly will be safe with you. Yes, he will. Be. Hey, it's Roxy. Remember, Spyro, find and return the remaining baby dragonflies. They are the fortune of the dragon realms. Yes, they are. Okay, uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for something. Oh, that's right, we've got to go down here. Here we go, as the fog continues to... Look at that, look at that, all of a sudden it picks up really quick. That's ridiculous. Okay. Wait a minute, wait one second. I said shut the fuck up, I'm recording. There you go. And look, look at this, it picks up to 60 FPS, and look how much, look how much better the game is when it's quick. Right, and then, and then back to normal. It is just a painful reminder of just how, like, just what this game could have been. Do you know what I mean? That, that's what it is. That's the only way it is. It's like, if this game could have just run properly, it would be... Oh my god, I'm going to repeat that a lot during the LP. Um, be warned. But it's like, god, it's just it's just infuriating to watch play out. Look, you look at this, it's like, yeah, that's that's what the game should be playing at. It should be playing at this speed. You know? And it doesn't. So, anyway, we've finished this part. It's a nice level. I can see the repeated textures though here. I guess that's probably the point, but... Hmm... Yeah, I can just see it really clearly like, on the ground there, see? See, you can really, you can just really tell it's to repeat. Anyway, in the next part, we're heading off to this level here. I am excited, and it's going to be back to, like, normal of, like, me just starting the game, like, in the first session. So, yeah, enjoy that, and I shall catch you guys later.